Many cameras and radar sensors are needed to measure the differences in speed between a car and the one ahead of it. This is what an active brake assist or ABA system looks like when viewed from outside the vehicle. Active brake assist systems can help prevent or minimize the severity of a rear-end collision. So Germany's Automobile Association, ADAC, wants to compare some of these systems. ADAC's representative says the results of their accident research show that the second most common cause of serious accidents is following too close and causing a rear-end collision. So they decided to test active brake assist systems using six mid-range and upper mid-range cars. The cars taking part are the Volvo V60, Mercedes CLS, Audi A7, the VW Passat variant, the BMW 530D, and the Infiniti M37S. ADAC created what they call a balloon car, specially for this test. Should the test cars not stop in time, in spite of the emergency braking system, then the balloon should prevent serious damage from occurring. And they're off for the first test, driving towards a stationary object. With the Volvo and VW Passat, the ABA kicks in and both cars manage to avoid collisions. By contrast, the Audi A7 provides a collision warning, but the brakes aren't triggered. While driving towards slower moving objects, the ABA systems are supposed to reduce the speed from 50 km per hour to 20. The VW, Mercedes, and Volvo perform well, but the Infiniti barely slows down at all. The next test separates the wheat from the chaff. Here, the cars travel at 100 kilometers an hour towards a vehicle going just 60. Only the Audi A7 manages to score well, reducing the speed by more than 30 kilometers per hour. While the BMW warns the driver in time, it only manages to slow down 12 kilometers an hour. In the next test, the cars approach a decelerating object. How will the active brake assist react when the car in front suddenly brakes? Here, the Audi and Mercedes score top marks. In contrast, the VW Passat can only reduce its speed by 15 kilometers per hour. That's not enough, considering the faster a car is traveling, the higher the likelihood of sustaining serious injuries in an accident. At the end of the day, the Automobile Association delivers its verdict. Only one car received top marks. The Volvo V60 is the winner, says the man from ADAC. It impressed the experts with its very good warning system and its reaction when approaching stationary objects. It can prevent collisions entirely. He says Mercedes and Audi take a different approach. They classify accidents resulting from high differences in speed as being more important. So they can greatly reduce speed during a collision, but never prevent it entirely. Overall, he says the manufacturers are on the right road. But ABA systems need to become more affordable and be offered in compact cars as well. The man from ADAC adds that the collision warning systems shouldn't irritate drivers with beeping or blinking lights, but instead deliver a specific warning. He says one good approach is the active gas pedal, which automatically puts pressure on the driver's foot, thereby warning him to take his foot off the gas. Active security systems will play an even greater role than the cars of the future, he maintains. ESP is still the most important of these systems. But active brake assist can still play a valuable role in preventing accidents, or at least reducing their severity. While active brake assist systems basically make sense, they can never replace an alert driver who drives defensively and remains alert. <laughs>